Karibu watazamaji wangu kutoka hapa Christian Bible Church Tumaini Television mjini Nakuru katika kaunti yetu ya Nakuru katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Inakuletea hii program kuja kwa nyumba yako hasa boma zile zinazonisikiza. Tunasema muujiza nyumbani. Unaweza kuongezea amani nyumbani, unaweza kuongezea furaha nyumbani, unaweza kuongezea ufanisi nyumbani. Yaani yale mambo yote mazuri Mungu anakutakia yaamini. Atusemi wasiwasi nyumbani. Hatusemi mashaka nyumbani. Hatusemi malana nyumbani. Tunasema muujiza nyumbani. Na naamini kwamba unanisikiliza kupitia hapa hii channel ya Tumaini Television ni kwa ajili yako. Na siku leo ningependa kuzumuza juu ya jamii yako. Hiyo roho ya wasiwasi. Nataka tuishughulikie. Maana boma mzee mama watoto na makao yale watu wamejaa wasiwasi hawawezi kujenga hawawezi kuendelea hawawezi kustahimili juu ya maisha kwa hivyo leo nazunguza juu ya wacha wasiwasi stop worrying na ndio sababu na kuzumuzia kama mtumishi wa Mungu yule Mungu ametuma kwa ajili yako kushika hii Biblia Nimeshika agano jipya na la zamani na ilifanya kazi kwa wale waliokubali na kutii wale waliosikiliza na kufuata masharti walifanikiwa wakaendelea wakastawi wale waliofunga biblia wakakosa kuitekeleza na kusikia mafundisho yake hawakutoka chini na leo ningependa kuamini kwamba utanisikiliza kwa makini katika boma yako na nawasi katika jina la Yesu ka munisikilize maana nataka ni kuongezea udhamana kwa nini tuache wasiwasi kwa nini tuache kuogopa kwa nini tuache mashindano katika boma zetu kwa nini tuache kelele katika boma zetu sababu ni hii Mathayo 6:25 inasema hivi ndio maana nawaambieni huyu ni Yesu anasema Musiwe na wasiwasi juu ya chakula na kinywaji mnachohitaji ili kuishi wala juu ya mavazi mnaohitaji kwa ajili ya mili yenu je maisha ni chakula tu au zaidi na mwili je si zaidi ya mavazi naamini kwamba kutoka kuanzia hapo utaanza kueleva na kupeleka wapi nazumuza juu ya maisha yako nazumuza juu ya mwili wako Nazumuza juu ya chochote kile ungependa kuwa nacho katika boma. Najua chakula ni muhimu sana. Najua maji ni muhimu sana. Najua mavazi pia ni muhimu sana. Mungu akatai tusivae vizuri. Mungu akatai tusikule vizuri. Mungu akatai tusikunywe vizuri. Sisemi kunywa vile vitu vinaharibu akili hapana. Sisemi kula vile vitu vinaadhiri mwili huwa hapana. Sisemu unavaa ni kana kwamba hujui wewe ni nani na hujichukuliwa udhamana hapana tunazumuza juu ya kuvaa vizuri umwili uvanilishwe vizuri kwa njia mzuri. jambo la pili kula ni sawa maana mwili huu unahitaji chakula vinywaji ni sawa maana mwili unahitaji maji katika mwili huu lakini Yesu anasema kuna watu wamejaa wasiwasi wanafikiria juu ya chakula sana wanachukulia juu ya vinywaji sana wanafikiria juu ya mavazi sana kuliko uhai ama uzima hapa inasema vizuri ndio maana nawaambieni msiwe na wasiwasi juu ya chakula kwa hivyo leo ndugu na dada wacha wasiwasi na unisikilize ni kwa nini tunaambiwa tuache wasiwasi kwa nini tuache wasiwasi tutakunywa nini kwa nini tuache wasiwasi tutavaa nini je Maisha ni chakula tu. Kweli kabisa, maisha sio chakula tu. Maisha sio mavazi tu. Na naamini hivyo, na maisha pia sio kinywaji tu. Haya mambo matatu tukubaliana tunayahitaji. Hata mimi vile unaona nimevaa. 
lakini tusiwe na wasiwasi especially unapotamani nguo mpya unatamani mambo mengine bado unaanza kuogopa sana baada ya nasemaje anasema hivi uangalieni ndege wa mwituni ama wangani sasa toa macho katika mahitaji yako toa macho katika mazingira yako sasa angalia ndege wa angani huyu ni Yesu na kuzumuzia kupitia kwa maandiko na kupitia kwa mtumishi wake sasa toa macho kwa mazingira yako toa macho kwa wasiwasi yako toa macho juu ya chakula na mavazi na vinywaji kama umepungukiwa kabisa angalia ndege wa angani ni vizuri wakati tunatembea hapana angalia chini tu huko angani kuna mambo yanaendelea angalia miti vile na stawi angalia vile Mungu aliumba dunia angalia vile miti haingangani kuzaa matunda angalia vile ndege wangani wangangani hata kupiga mababa haujui watakula wanakula wapi wanakunywa wapi lakini they are still enjoying mali pale Mungu aliwaweka na ndio sababu sisi tulimbo kwa mfano wa Mungu na kwa sura yake tuache wasiwasi Anasema angalieni ndege wa mwituni hawapandi hawavuni wala hawa, hawana magala yoyote na hiyo ni kweli tukubaliane ndege hawapandi hawavuni tafuta gala zao hautapata lakini angalia maanike nasema hata hivyo baba yenu wa mbinguni hualisha yani baba yako baba yangu yule wa mbinguni Nasema baba wa mbinguni mali kila kipawa kizuri na chema kinatoka. Nasema juu ya baba mwema, rehema zake na fadhili zake ni za milele. Sasa nasema baba wenu wa mbinguni uwalisha. Je, nyinyi si wadhamana kuliko hao? Kumbuka ndege wangani hawakuumba kwa mfano wa Mungu na kwa sura ya Mungu. Lakini angalia vile Mungu anawashughulikia. Haujasikia ndege kabisa ameamua kutoka juu kwa sababu anajaa kagonga chini. Yaani anaenda tu na Mungu anaongoza ndege nyoni baadaye inaangukia maji, ikitaka maji Mungu anaiongoza, ikitaka chakula pengine ni mahindi umevuna mali umewachana na wengine inaende na kula Mungu anaiongoza ina way. Ndege za ngani Mungu anawalisha. Je, maandike nasema si nyinyi ni bora kuliko ndege wa ngani ama si nyinyi ni wadhamani? You are more precious you are worthy than the birds of the air. Nataka uwe na imani ya juu ya Mungu Baba wa mbinguni. Nataka uwe na imani kwamba Mungu anakupenda, Mungu anahusika na maisha yako, Mungu anajua kile unahitaji. Na baada nasemaje? Ni nani miongoni mwenu kwa kuwa na wasiwasi sana anaweza kuongeza muda wa maisha yake? Hakuna. Hata kimo chako kwa kufikiria na kuwa wasiwasi hauongezi. So chunga mawazo yako ndugu na dada. Watch what you are thinking. Fikiria sana mawazo mazuri, fikiria mawazo ya juu mali Kristo Yesu amekaa. Fikiria yule Mungu aliyetuumbia hii dunia akatumba kwa mfano wake akatuweka hapa. Anahusika na anajali na maisha yetu. Anajali na boma zetu. Anajali na watoto wetu. Anaujali juu ya maisha yetu kwa ujumla. Sasa nasema hapa vizuri usiwazi, usiwe na waziwazi kwamba kwa kuwa na wasiwasi utajiongezea miaka. Wandugu na badada miaka yako ni Mungu anayo. Na ukitaka kuongezea zaidi kuwa kama Ezekaya. Fanya yaliyo sawa, sawa mambo mambo ya maadili, fanya mapenzi ya Mungu uone. Mungu anajua kuongeza miaka, tena anajua kuongeza afya na akili timamu. Baada ya mstari wa 28 anasemaje kuhusu mavazi sasa. Anasema hivi, ya nini kuwa na wasiwasi? Tazameni maua ya porini, maua ya porini. Jinsi yanavyostawi, hayafanyi kazi wala hayasokoti. Maua ya kondeni hayangangani kuleta maridadi na urembo. Ehe. Lakini nawaambieni hata Solomon mwenyewe na fari zake zote hakupata kuvikwa vizuri kama huo moja wapo. Wewe enda nje kwa bustani yako kama unayo na kama una tembea mali kuna maua uone vile maua yamechanuka unaona vile maua ni marembo sana ati Mungu anahusika juu ya mimea kama Mungu anahusika juu ya ndege wangani anahusika juu ya mimea kwa hivyo tunaambiwa tuache wasiwasi tutakula nini tutavaa nini tutakunywa nini yaani una wasiwasi nyingi mpaka unakosa kuishi 
una wasiwasi nyingi mpaka unajidevelop magonjo na matatizo yale hayako na ndio sababu nataka nikwambie hapa nasemaje ikiwa basi Mungu ulivika hivyo jani la shambani ambalo leo liko na kesho la tupa motoni je si atawafanyia nyinyi zaidi enyi watu wenye imani hapa maana yake ni kusema ile, ile ile mauo naona ni nyasi tu ni majani inafika mali na nyauka inachukuliwa na tupa motoni sasa nasema je nyinyi je nyinyi si ni zaidi ya hiyo maua na anasema shida yetu ni moja hatuna imani ya kutosha inadha wasa nasema wenye imani haba na kuna mahali Paulo aliambia Warumi kwamba imani kidogo inakula mboga imani kubwa inakula nyama maana yake ni kusema inategemea imani yako na unajua hata Yesu alipokuwa duniani alikuwa anafanya miujiza mingine as a basis of people's faith aliambia watu enda imani yako imekuponya hata viwete waenda wazimu yani alifanya miujiza sio ya kawaida kwa sababu mtu aliamini yule mwanamke alikuwa anatoka damu 112 aliamini ukiangalia watu waliokuja kwa Yesu na matatizo mengi wakiamini yote yalikuwa yanawezekana na nyinyi katika boma yenu amini kabisa fika mali muamini manabii wa Mungu wa kweli maandike nasema mtafanikiwa fika mali kabisa muamini Mungu na Mungu atawadhibitisha kwa kila njia believe in his prophets and you shall prosper believe in the lord god almighty and you shall be established wale manabii wa neno wanakufundisha neno pako napata faith as a family you shall increase and multiply as a family you should be blessed to be a blessing like Abraham God blessed him to be a blessing ni kwa sababu aliwacha wasiwasi aliwacha kuogopa akamwamini Mungu na akamtii Mungu na kaelekea mahali pale Mungu anataka nataka nikwambie leo unaweza kutekelezewa mambo yako yote kwa hivyo tunaambiwa hapa tuache wasiwasi tena tusiwe na imani kidogo mstari wa 31 nasemaje basi musiwe na wasiwasi tutakula nini tutakunywa nini tutavaa nini maana hayo yote yanaangakiwa na watu wasiomjua Mungu baba yenu wa binguni anajua kwamba mnahitaji vitu hivi vyote nataka nikwambie kabla sijaokoka na kukubali Yesu hii ndiyo ilikuwa mangaiko hii ndiyo ilikuwa wasiwasi hii ndiyo ilikuwa mashindano lakini baada ya kuokoka na kujua ni na baba wa binguni na na rafiki mmoja anaitwa Yesu alitoa mwili wake akamwaga damu yake nisafishwe dhambi zangu akachukua masiku yangu msalabani na malana zangu wa ndugu na badada wasiwasi iliisha paka leo sisemi sifikiri you can think maana mtu asiyefikiria sio mtu yuko hai e, lakini unafikiria na unaamini Mungu lakini wasiwasi na hofu isiwe sehemu yako ukikubali wasiwasi kuingia na hofu itakukamua na ikumalize hata hiyo nguo ukipata itakuwa inaninginia juu ya mwili ya mtu amekwisha hata hiyo chakula kila haitakuletea faida maana already wasiwasi na hofu imemaliza tumbo system ya tumbo sasa kila tu haiwezi kustahimili hiyo tumbo. Kwa hivyo wacha wasiwasi, wacha kuangaika kwa kila jambo kuomba na kusali. Vile maandiko yanatuambia wa Filipi 4:4. Furaini katika Bwana, tena nasema furaini. Fanyeni haja zenu zijulikane na Mungu. Wasiwasi wacha. Jifunza sa family to pray together. Jifunza sa family kukabidhi Bwana fedha zenu zote. Jifunze kama baba na mama na watoto kushikana mikono. Ndio matatizo yako, ndio mahitaji yako, lakini pia Mungu yuko. Yakobo anasema kila kipaba kizuri na chema kinatoka juu kwa baba wa mianga. Wacha kuangalia chini, angalia juu. Daudi akasema nitaangalia milimani msaada wangu natoka wapi msaada wangu natoka kwa Mungu aliumba bingu na inchi that is the simple gospel i want to give you as a family you can get your miracles today kama jamii mnaweza kubadilisha nia yenu kabisa muache mangaiko muache kugombana muache vitina muache kupigana muanze kuamini Mungu anza kutekeleza haya mafundisho nimewaletea bure from tumaini tv haunilipi lakini Mungu ameniambia wafundishe nao pia wapate udhamana wa ndugu na badada haya ni mashauri ya mtu wa Mungu kutoka hapa vile Mungu amenishauri ni kushauri na mtu asiyekubali mashauri huyo ni mtu very dangerous mtu hatari sana 
Kwa hivi watu wa mataifa sio mjua Mungu hapo ndio wanaangaikia ya mambo, wanakimbizana ya mambo, hata wanaibiana ya mambo, pia anaoana kwa sababu ya mambo. Lakini si sisikiliza. Bali shughulikeni kwanza juu ya ufalme wa Mungu na matakwa yake. Kiingereza nasema seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then all these things shall be added unto you. Yaani nyongeza, mavazi nyongeza, chakula nyongeza, maji nyongeza, yani mambo yote ile yanaweza kufanya wewe uwe na faraja. To be comfortable in your family. Set the Lord always before you. Make God number one in your life. Make the cross in ndio iwaamulie njia. Maana yale yote Yesu alifanya msalabani ni faida yako. Na naamini kwamba haya mambo yamekusaidia mstari wa 34 nasemaje. Basi msiwe na wasiwasi juu ya kesho. That's how ni watu pia hawana wasiwasi wa chakula, hawana wasiwasi ya maji, hawana wasiwasi wa mavazi, lakini sasa wana wasiwasi juu ya kesho. <laughs> Ile kesho hawajafika. Yaani wana, wanaishi kesho leo which is impossible. You cannot live tomorrow today. Then today what are you doing about your today? Utaishije kesho leo? Haiwezekani. Uwezi kulala usingizi wa kesho leo? Haiwezekani. Uwezi kwenda kesho mahali leo? Haiwezekani. Sasa unaambiwa hapa msio na wasiwasi juu ya kesho. Kesho hiyo kesho inayo yake. Kama vile hii ya leo iko na yake na kesho iko na yake. Nataka ni kuambie kesho Mungu amekuandalia meza mbele ya watesi wako. Mungu amekuandalia mafuta fresh. Kesho Mungu amewapangia mpango mzuri tena saba. Mungu anataka wish one day at a time. Sisemi usifanye mipango lakini ishi vile Mungu anataka. Uwezi kula chakula ya kesho leo. Nasema uwezi kuvaa mavazi ya kesho leo. Sijawahi kuona hiyo. It will be a miracle mtu anaishi kesho leo. That will be a miracle. Itakuwa ni mshangao kwamba mnakunywa vinywaji vya kesho leo na kesho utakunywa nini? Si unaona utasijafua, utajiharibu. There are some things in life usipojifunza mapema, kijana hautaendelea, msichana hautaendelea, baba na mama wanaokuza boma yao. Kuna mambo lazima mu adjust yourselves, adjust the way you see things, adjust your thoughts. Yaani rekebisha mawazo yenu kabisa, hapana pigania mambo ya kesho. Hapana angalia miaka kumi takaokuja according to other people your plan and your God's purpose is in your hands Mungu anakujua vizuri sana nataka kusema kivi ukimweka Mungu mbele atakuongoza Unajua Biblia inatuambia kwamba wale wengi wanaongozwa na wa Bwana ndio wana wa Mungu so the holy spirit has a plan for your life for example Elijah anatabiri mvua sinyesha 3 and half years. Hajui mahali atakunywa maji, hajui mahali atakula chakula, hajui mahali atatorokea. Lakini alipotamuka hivyo, maanike nasema Mungu akamtokea akamwambia geuka mashariki, enda ngambo ya Jordan, kuna kijito huko kinaitwa Kidron na nimemwamuru kungura kulishe hapo. Mungu ndiye ana hatima ya kila moja wetu, Mungu ndiye ana hatima ya kila jamii. My friend there are some things you cannot work them out. May God work them out for you in Jesus name. Plan as you as best as you can plan. Or organize yourself the best you can organize, but involve God in your organization, involve God in your plans, especially when it comes to the will of God. Please don't exclude God in those plans. Because what will stand in the long run is the will of God. I say in the long run what will stand is the will of God and the plan of God. No wonder Jeremiah says, I know the plans I have for you. God says it. The plans to give you hope and a future. In other words, Mungu ana mipango mizuri kuja kwako na kwa watoto wako. Na Mungu akukupa watoto bure anajua wewe ana imani na wewe lakini na wewe pia kwa na imani na Mungu aliyekupa huyo mke aliyekupa huyo bwana aliyekupa watoto sasa ukimuondoa Mungu huyo mke amutasikilizana huyo bwana atakuwa mzigo watoto mtabaita wa mzigo mtakuwa mnaambiana mashaka na matatizo mnaanza kusema ni kama mmerogwa au oh, tumelaaniwa mnaanza kulamu watu left and right Don't blame anybody. Angalia juu, wacha wasiwasi, anza kuamini from today. The best is yet to come in your family. I am also a family man, my friend. I also have needs as a family, but I cannot overwork myself. 
I cannot think beyond my thoughts. <laughs> Maana ukifikiria sana utaanza kuongea na kila mtu njiani. <laughs> ukifikiria sana utaweza kuwa mtu hauna mbele na nyuma. Be sober, be vigilant. Maana una adui huko nje anaitwa shetani. So usimpatie nafasi kwa mawazo yako na kwa maneno yako. <clears throat> kwa hivyo tumeambiwa basi mwisho na wasiwasi juu ya kesho. Kesho inao yake. Matatizo ya siku moja yanawatosheka yanawatosheni kwa siku hiyo in other words today ukiwa na shida sio kusema utahamisha hiyo shida kesho na ukimwamini Mungu atahakikisha kesho hiyo shida ya leo itakuwa ya kesho nataka nikwambie vile Mungu anafanya kazi kila siku ina mazuri yake na mabaya yake ni kweli kabisa we have seen it sio kila siku ni nywe sio kila siku ni haleluya sio kila siku ni praise the lord sio kila siku i'm going somewhere there are times unakaa kwa compound unapiga hesabu na kataa lakini unasema kwa kila jambo kuomba na kusali unasimama unaendelea maana Mungu ana njia yako na barabara ya kila jamii hapa na tumuza juu ya muujiza kwa boma yako na unisikilize wacha wasiwasi wacha kuogopa kwa sababu ujiongezee udhamano yote as a more of fact you complicate life itself wakati unajaa hofu na wasiwasi haujiongezee udhamana yoyote kwa usema ukweli unaharibu mambo stop worrying because it adds no value to you it complicates life itself na ndio sababu usijicomplicate na usicomplicate life don't complicate family issues don't complicate your marriage please don't complicate Maana unaweza kufanya ndoa iwe so complicated. Unaweza kufanya mzee wa so complicated. Unaweza kufanya mama wa so complicated. Unaweza kufanya watoto wa so complicated. Na jamii complicated they are going nowhere. You don't add value to yourselves by being complicated to one another. Mzee very complicated. Mama very complicated. Watoto wanasema sasa hapa chorus ni moja complicated. Sasa kila mtu ndani ya nyumba complicated. Mzee kitokea complicated ndio huyo. Mama kitokea complicated. Yaani hiyo nyumba ndugu na dada hata kuwe na muziki mororo ni complicated. Hata kuwe na viti automatic vizazunguka tena zinaleta chai kwa mbele yako complicated. Ha, hiyo mambo haitaweza ha, kufanyika. Kuna mambo mengine play it easy. I say in life play life easy. Be careful sometimes. Don't be so complicated, tough and rough. It can't work. Many times it doesn't work. When you think you are tough and rough, wait. Out there there are people also tough and rough. In the family there is no tough and rough. In the family is love, submission and obedience. Katika jamii ni upendo, kunyenyekeana, kuheshimiana na watu kufanya majukumu yao. Unaona wasiwasi ukiwa nayo inaharibu hata afya yako. Ukicheza worry will damage your health it will consume your thoughts mpaka ufike mahali unaata nywele wewe sikuchana unavuruga nywele tu maana ni mawazo yamechafuka sasa mawazo umefikiria sana mpaka unasema ah sio ni mali tunaenda na unavuruga nywele yako mama ile umetumia saloon 2000 just in a minute you dismantle it basi mawazo umefika mahali you don't see what is life kuna jambo fulani mefenyika kwa nyumba sasa unafikiria kuvuruga nywele ndio saa ama mzana anatoa tai anarusha nje na mwingine anachukua na sema thank god god has answered my prayers na nani nayo na ndio sababu ni vizuri kuelewa changamoto ziko ni kweli hatukatai mahitaji yako yako hatukatai kupungukiwa kuko hatukatai lakini hiyo isikuletee magonjwa na maradhi isikuletee kichwa kiende mbele kidogo Isifanye usizae matunda it should not disrupt your productivity it is not to reduce your ability to trust in the lord wasiwasi na kupindua juu chini worry immobilizes you if you don't know na ndio sababu nataka nikupe daba daba ni moja tafuta kwanza ufalme wa Mungu na haki yake na haya mambo mengine utaongezewa My friend God is capable God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you think or ask but you must allow him to take over it is time to trust in the Lord it is time to have faith in the Lord it is time to know that God cares and God loves your family you are a family according to God's word you are a family you should be one you should trust God in your family 
As a father and a mother, bring your children together. Show them the provider is God. Though the father is there to work it out and the mother is there to do it, but they also trust the Lord for their daily bread. God is the one who gives us power to get wealth, my friend. And your sababa ba to meambi wa kwamba mugeukiye mungu kwanza tafuta kwanza nini ufalme wa mungu na nini na akiyake turn to God first for help. Worrying about tomorrow is time wasted. Yani kuwa na wasuwa si juu ya kesho juu ya kesho kutoa na nini taoa na nini atanioa tunge kuwa na ya tunge simama hapa. Tulifika mali tukasema mungu unanijua na unajua mimi nataka nini life na unajua nani mzuri kwangu. So mimi na kuamini kabisa na mungu na kuongoza hivi na kuambia ndio hii. Mungu na kuongoza mali utakaa kama Ibrahimu. Ana gotoa uru ya kalidayo, ana kuongoza mpaka na kupelea kuambia ndio hile. Na mungu na kuahidi vila atakutendea ukiwa muaminifu na uwacha wasuwasi. Na ndiyo sababu hata Ibrahim alifika mali akaogopa mpaka kamuliza Mungu mpaka lini Mungu kamwambia wacha wasiwasi mimi ni ngao yako tena dhawabu yako kubwa kile nilikwambia nitatimiza Genesis 15 My friend read the Bible and be wise Father mother read the Bible and be wise watoto nyumbani soma Biblia mwishi soma Biblia mahofu ziondoke soma Biblia boma zenu zibarikiwe kwa hivyo usipoteza wakati na nyakati zako kuwa na wasiwasi. Don't let worries about tomorrow affect your relationship with God and also affect your relationship with one another. Musipiganie mambo ya yale amuoni. Musigombanie mali ya mujafika. Keep on walking by faith. Keep on trusting God. Keep on praying God. Keep on reading the word of God. Keep on going to the church together. Your life will change. Unajua kuna mambo mengine usipofanya Mungu atakutendea. Already God has given you the world, already God has given you the body, already God has amekupatia mwili, amekupatia jamii. Sasa how to work it out ni wewe mwenyewe na uchumie neno Mwenyezi Mungu, you work out your family with fear and trembling, you work out how you should behave and talk together na muangalie mahali mnaenda. Mungu awaongoze na atusaidie. Twende break na baada ya break tutaingia sehemu ya pili usiende mbali nataka tusaidiane kabisa na tupate miujiza na baraka bomani uko ndani tujulikane uko ndani tubarikiwe uko ndani tu stop hata tukifungua milango ya nyuma yetu ku face the world tuna face the world with the confidence tuna face the world with the faith tuna face the world with the light of the word of god sikia wimbo na turudi tena sehemu ya pili Okay, I'll do 
sana tuendelee mbele tunazumuza kwamba wacha wasiwasi usianze kuwaza na kuwazua ya wazi yaliyo juu soma biblia kuwa jamii organized kuwa jamii ya mwelekeo na muongozo sisemi usihusike i'm not talking that you should always worry be concerned but not to worry ni vizuri kuhusika juu ya bwana yako ni vizuri kuhusika juu ya mke wako kuna mambo unahusika as a father na mother as a husband and a wife then as parents you are concerned about your children the affairs of your children but don't get worried also about your children ask for god's guidance sasa hiyo ndio kifunguo uliza Mungu tusaidieje watoto wetu wakwe vizuri uliza Mungu tutawakuzaje kwa njia mzuri wawe watu wa maana Uliza Mungu nitamsaidia bwana yangu vipi kama unaona na kasoro fulani na mambo uelevi mambo mzuri atauliza Mungu mwelekeo na muongozo how to deal with a husband sio na maneno makali hapana sio kudini na yeye mangumi hapana sio kudini na kwa kumfungia nje it can solve a problem ask god guide us and you can handle your husband also how you can handle your wife maana Mungu ndiye alianzisha jamii. So God wants us to have peace and joy and love in the family. Just in case there is something you are so concerned of, don't take it to the second mile of being worried so much. Maana unakuwa na wasiwasi na mtu ajali. Sasa wewe usika ndi saba. Lakini usiwe na wasiwasi. Uliza Mungu akuongoze. Look at the lilies of the and the flowers of the valley. Angalia, they do not labor or spin. Tumeambiwa hivyo. Maana yake ni kusema usikose imani. Don't be faithless or don't have a little faith but have faith in God. 
Yaani uangalie ndege wangani uwe na imani ya Mungu kwamba kama Mungu analisha ndege wangani kama Mungu anafanya ndege wanaruka angani na waanguki na wana wasiwasi hakuna wakati nyoni inafika mali za sema nitaanguka amewekewa uwezo ndani yake mabao inaenda tu na wewe uwezi kuruka juu angalia maua kondeni vile yamerembeka mazuri kala sumzuri na useme kama Mungu anahusika na hii na mimi je usikose kuwa na imani don't be faithless or little faith have faith in god waibrania 11:11 sinasemaje without faith it is impossible to please god kwa hivyo jamii mzuri ni ile wana imani mama mzuri ni ile na imani mzee mzuri ni ile na imani anaomba bila kukoma anafungua biblia anapata mashauri anapata mwongozo anamulikia jamii yake mama mzuri anachukua majukumu yake anafungua biblia anaenda kanisani anarudi nyumbani anamwaga neema huko watoto pia wako chini ya mababa ya wazazi wazuri Angependa kusema kuna mambo Mungu atawafanyia ingawa amewapatia kila kitu. Amekupatia macho, lakini ma- we macho ni ya kuona na inategemea unaona nini. Mungu ametupatia masikio, inategemea tunasikia nini. Mungu ametupatia miguu, inategemea tunatembea kwenda wapi. Tukiadhirika na macho hii na masikio na miguu, tusi, tusi laumu Mungu. Kama utachukua njia zako mbaya Unasimama katika e, barabara ya wenye mizaa. Unakaa katika vitu vya wenye mizaa. Unatembea katika njia ya wazao wakosaji. Mambo ikiharibika usimlaumu Mungu. Ukitumia macho yako kuona vitu vichafu, nasema vitu vichafu, mawazo itakuwa chafu, moyo ikiwa chafu, Mungu atakuwa mbali na wewe. Ukichukua masikio yako anza kusikia kila information, porojo zote, utajiadhiri. So ni wewe uchunge masikio yako, uchunge macho yako, uchunge kila kitu juu yako ili Mungu akikupa chakula na maji na mavazi ujitunze vizuri. There are some things you don't have to go to the college to learn the way you see the way you think it is you to learn my friend is yabai kuona mahali watu wanakalishwa kuambiwa fikiria hivi fikiria hivi biblia imetuambia kila kitu unajua mabaya ni mabaya unajua mazuri ni mazuri unajua sumu ni sumu na ukinywa utakufa unajua maji ni mzuri kwa mwili so you do what is right so there are some information you don't have to look for them from very far they are right there where you are You are a father, you are a mother, you are a husband and a wife. Can you guide your family well? Can you ask God to help you to bring miracles in your home, to bring stability in your home and comfort in your home? Kwa hivyo tunaambiwa angalia hayo mambo yote. Mungu mwenyewe anahusika na hivi vitu vyote. Baba yenu wa mbinguni anajua mnahitaji hivi vitu vyote. Lakini tafuta kwanza ufalme wa Mungu na haki yake na baadaye haya mambo mtaongezewa. This thing shall be added unto you. And I want to assure you God has no problem to add unto you things. Things if he has if he, if he has promised eternal life, what can he give you? If Jesus came to give you life and give it you more abundantly, what can God give you my friend? If Jesus has going to prepare a place for us in heaven and one day is coming back to take us home, mali hakuna jua, hakuna mwezi, hakuna mauti, hakuna vumbi, yani in the presence of God, in the presence of love, in the presence of peace, in the presence of joy, having eternal life, what can God give you? Shati tu ndio mshinda kupatia. Ni mara nyingi Mungu anahusika, lakini wewe ubaya usikizi. Wewe unatembea mali pabaya. Wewe una scan information mbaya na wanda Mungu akipita uko routine kabisa Mungu akipita hii channel uko channel lingine God cannot help such a person kwa sababu umekosa kutafuta kwanza ufalme wa Mungu na haki yake badala sasa Mungu akuongeze shetani na mazingira na mawazo yako inakunyanganya afya na akili timamu kwa hivyo tunaambiwa hapa tuache wasiwasi juu ya kesho maana kesho iko kwa mikono ya baba yako baba yako wa mbinguni Anajua mwanzo na mwisho. Anajua mwa, mwisho na mwanzo. Amazingly our heavenly father knows your thoughts are far off. He knows your thoughts are far off. Hata kabla hujaomba atanajua. Such a kind of a knowledge ukijua utapumzika kabisa as a family. Mtajua hakuna kitu tunapitia Mungu ajui. Hakuna mahali tumefika Mungu ajui. Hata mahali tunaenda Mungu atatusaidia. That should be your confession, that should be your faith, that should be your direction. In other words, live today. Live today. 
with what it brings your way. For all the days are not the same. Leo ishi kabisa, kilo mepata kidogo kula, kilo mevava, okijua kwamba kesho iko. Leo wacha mungu wa kushugulikie. Kweli kabisa, na ufikirie vivi. Leo ni leo, na kesho ni kesho. Na ndiyo sababu sala ya bwana nasema aje. Sala ya bwana nasema hivi. Tupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku. Usitongoze kwanda kwa majaribio. Tuokoe na yule muovu. Kwa nini yesa alikusema tuombe hivyo? Maana wengine munaogopa miaka ya usoni. Wengine munaogopa adui ya mjaona. Wengine munaogopa miaka ile hata mujafika. Na baadae munaogopa kwamba mutakula kweli, mutavaa kweli. My friend, usikose imani. Nimekuja ukuambia, live one day at a time in Jesus name. Fanya majukumu yako, fanya kazi bila kukoma, fanya biashara, fanya kile choto naweza kufanya. And just in case hiyo kazi haijakupatia kile unataka, hiyo biashara haijafika mali inafika, amini Mungu akuongeze. Maana Mungu anasikia maombi na kuyajibu kweli kabisa. Kuna mambo in life sihitaji kuogopa kwa sababu ninamjua Mungu yuko. Wakati umefanya sehemu yako na umezidiwa nguvu, unaomba Mungu anakupa nguvu. Maanike nasema wana mgoja bwana watapata nguvu mpya. Watapaa juu na mababa kama tai. Kuna mambo Mungu anasema ukifika mali umeshindwa niwaachie. Ukifika mali ujui uende kushota makulia ni ngoje ni kuongoze. Usiwe na mbio sana na raka sana mpaka utaumia ndugu na dada. Na maadai utachagua a wrong route which you regret later. Ama utachagua marafiki wale utasema I wish I knew. Kilicho muhimu hapa ni vizuri kueleba. These words of great faith were spoken by our Lord Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. Haya maneno ya Matthew 6:25 was spoken a Yesu mwenyewe bwana wetu Yesu Kristo anaijua kuanzisha imani na kuimali ku, ku, kuitimiza huyu Yesu anaitwa alfa na omega huyu Yesu anaitwa mwanzo na mwisho huyu Yesu anaitwa mwanzilisi wa uzima yeye ni mkate uliotoka binguni anaitwa maji ya uzima anaitwa mchungaji mwema anaitwa mzabibu wa kweli anaitwa mlango wa baraka Huyu Yesu aliyezumuza ya maneno anaitwa the great God. Whom are you going to believe my friend? Whose report are you going to believe? When Jesus died on the cross he died for us. When Jesus said it is finished, it was surely finished. Wewe ndio ta implement kile Yesu alimaliza. Kwa mapigo yake umeponywa. Damu yake imemwagika you can be forgiven. Yesu amechukua maneno yako juu yake you can be blessed wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, is called the great God, is called our Father who art in heaven. With such a spirit you can't fail. With such a redeemer you can't fail. No wonder Job alisema, I know my redeemer liveth. And one day in this body, nitamuona mkombosu wangu. These are men who had faith, believing regardless of what they were going through. Regardless of challenges, regardless of oppositions, regardless of the attacks of the enemy, they said, and he said, I know my Redeemer liveth. Huyu ndiye aliyesema mjue Mungu wako sana ili mema ikufuate. My friend, you can succeed in your home. You can be blessed in your family. You can change the direction of your children to the right direction. You can change the direction towards the good and prosperous years. Wewe sikiliza na ubadilike. Huyu Yesu aliyezumuza maneno anaitwa the mighty God. Anaitwa the wonderful and can, wonderful counselor. He was he's called the light of the world, the king of kings and the lord of lords. Yaani naweza kumtaja majina ili upate kujua huyu aliyetuahidi mambo haya sio mtu mchache. Yeye ni kila kitu kwa njia zote. Yeye ni baraka kwa kila mtu yule anayetaka. Yeye ndio mwanzo na mwisho. Yeye ndio alfa na omega. Yeye ndiye ametutangulia. Hallelujah. Yeye anaitwa our intercessor, our advocate, our great high priest, touch with the feelings of our infirmities. Tena anaitwa the king of kings, anaitwa the lord of lords, is called the great high priest. Is our peace and the wisdom of God. Yaani ukimwangalia huyu Yesu hivyo utawacha wasiwasi utawacha mangaiko utaanza kuishi maisha ya shukurani mtaanza kutulizana ndani ya nyumba mzaa ataanza kutuliza mama mama atatuliza mzee 
wazazi watatuliza watoto kuambia all is well because Jesus is on the throne all is well because we have a father what in heaven all is well we have a mighty god all is well we have a great god all is well we have a good shepherd all is well we have the bread which comes down from heaven my friend all is well in Christ Huyu aliyezumuza ya maneno ni yule aliyekufia msalabani Huyu aliyezumuza ya maneno ya Mathayo 26:25 kwamba wacha wasiwasi huyo ndiye alichukua dhambi zako juu yake mwenyewe na yeye akachukua lana zako juu yake mwenyewe Ukisoma juu yake na maisha yake haya yote aliyafanya kwa ajili yetu Above all the words from our master he shows how much he cares and he knows his own sheep and Jesus said my sheep hear my voice and they follow me I want to say this have faith and believe your family is going to change your family is going to be blessed and if you believe it say amen if you doubt me and lay a vile unataka unajua kuna mambo mengine ndugu na dada tukikuambia ni kwa ubora wako hauhitaji maombi mazito unahitaji neno la Mwenyezi Mungu linaleta imani ukiangalia vizuri na kuambia Yesu ni nani kwako na kuambia vile Yesu anahusika na kuambia vile Yesu ametuambia tusiwe na wasiwasi maana wasiwasi itakuletea madhara itakuletea shida wasiwasi itakuletea magonjwa yasiyoeleweka na ningependa kusema Yesu anajali hata dakika hii yuko hapo karibu mali mmekaa anajua kile kiko ndani ya boma yenu anajua ile mahitaji mliona anajua kabisa he knows the details of your family He knows how far you have come from, he knows how far you are and he knows how far you are supposed to be. Trust him and he will help you. He knows exactly how many people you are in that home. He knows everything about you. Can you surrender your family to God so that you may experience the miraculous, so that you may experience the hand of God. Listen to this in Kenya Kumaliza. 2 Peter 5:6 to 7 in a semaji. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he might lift you in due time. So what you need is to humble yourselves under who? Under the mighty hand of God and God himself will lift you up in due time. In other words your family has got its due time. My family is in the hands of God. My work is to humble myself under the mighty hand of God, submit myself to him, love him, embrace him, worship him, serve him, and when the lifting comes, he will lift me up. Hapana ngoja watu wa kuinue, wacha mkono wa Mungu ikuinue. Na ndio sawa naambiwa kwamba nyenyekea. Then he says cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Mutuike Bwana fadhala zako zote, maana yeye yanahusika. Kama jamii jifunze kuomba pamoja. Kama jamii shikana mikono, kitu cha ajabu, kitu cha ajabu. Utapata mzee yuko hapo, hata pengine wanana na church. Mama yuko hapo, watoto wako hapo, hata wakijaribu kushikana mikono, itakuwa ni history. Kwa sababu hajazoea, mama hawezi kushika mzee mkono wa kiomba. <laughs> hata ana, anasikia hiyo mkono hata watoto hawataki kusikia mami mkono na dedi washikane wasemo we are believing God for a miracle here father what in heaven we are believing you for finances we need money lord we need clothes lord we need something lord in this family we need to have our own plot oh god we are praying na mzana anasema amen na mama anasema hallelujah na watoto watoto wanasema amen wapi Hayo ndiyo mambo ningependa kusema there is no miracle at home there is no miracle in your home until you learn to do the word of God learn to cast all your cares unto the Lord hiyo matatizo yote na mjifunze kushikana mikono Waifeso 3:20 na semaji now unto him who is able to do what exceedingly abundantly above all that you think or ask so what are you thinking if you are thinking worries that's not a good thought mawazo ya wasiwasi sio mawazo mazuri Mawazo ya kushinwa sio mawazo mazuri. Mawazo ya kusema sina, sisi ni bure kama jamii hatuwezi kuendelea. Hiyo ni mawazo mabaya. Wakati unaomba Mungu, Mungu anaweza kutenda mambo makubwa tena juu zaidi kuliko vile mnavyoomba na kuwaza. Kadiri ya nguvu zinazofanya kazi ndani ya mioyo yenu. And I want to say as a family, we have power within us to succeed and to have a good success. As believers in the family, we have power to rise up to the top. I want to say again, as a family who loves Jesus and who embraces the work of the cross, 
We have enough power to succeed wherever we are. God has said he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we think or ask because we have power to succeed from within. My friend, listen and change. God is about to visit your home. God is about to do new things in your family. But you must learn to listen careful. Mama skiliza wacha kusumbua muzena manono mengi. Muzena baby wacha kula umu mama left and right. Watoto na nyinyi kanga liya wazazi. Wambie wazazi. We are here for our purpose. We are your children. Let us believe God for the best in this home. Sio mwila na muka naenda huko. Uya naenda huko. Uya na bangi mulango. Uya mungina na bangi nirisha. Uya mungina na lala. Uya mungina na lala juya kiti. Yani homu ndiyo hiyo. Aina amani. Aina furaha. Mwingine anasema fungua chano ya tumaini tia anasema wachana na marita weka ile vitimbi ama weka hizo programs zingine alafu nyumba ndiyo divided alafu pepo zinakuja zinakaa hapo mnasema mmelani wani uongo you don't even agree with one another what you are supposed to do in the home hamkubaliana kabisa mimi kifika wakati wa matangazo naweka maana najua lazima tusikie Kenya inaendeleaje na dunia ikimaliza narudi tumaini tumaini yangu <laughs> na jiona vile na ubiri na imba na pia vile na wafundisha tena nasema Mungu nisaidie nisaidie watu kama mimi nabarikiwa kama wewe ubarikiwi mimi nabarikiwa tena na mahubiri yangu ndio sawa nimesimama hivi ndio sababu unaniona hivi ni kwa sababu nimeelewa hii Biblia mahusiano yangu na Yesu ni mazuri mahusiano yangu ndani ya nyumba ni hivyo mimi ni baba ni bwana najua majukumu yangu bas sasa naambia Mungu tusaidie Mungu atakosaje kuwasaidia? Kama muna shida mnapiga magoti, mnaambia Mungu. Ila muwezi, Mungu anaweza. Waibrania 11:16 nasema, for without faith it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to him must believe that God is and is a reward of them who seek him diligently. Kwa hivyo jifunze kabisa kama jamii kuwa na imani kwa Mungu. Kama Bwana mzuri, Baba mzuri sio bidii yako sio akili yako inafika mali bidii na kwisha inafika mali ujuaji na kwisha unagundua life is all about your relationship with your wife your husband your children and with your neighbors and other people and then with god above all you will discover life is all about relationships life is not all about clothes my friend tangu tulipokuwa vijana tulivaa nguo zingine zinaitwa belly bottom tulikuwa na zao zingine zinaitwa turn up Tulikuwa na vavi ya vingine vinaitwa platform. Hiyo yote imezunguka tumerudi hapa. Miaka inaenda, tunabadilika na Mungu anatubadilisha vizuri. Kuna mambo sasa siwezi kufanya kwa sababu ninajua ukweli. Kuna vitu na tabia zingine na na mwelekeo mwingine siwezi kuingia. Sitaki kujiadhiri, sitaki kuadhiri jamii yangu. Nataka tusimame tuangalie Mungu na tujifunze kujiheshimu. Usipojifunza kujiheshimu, hakuna mtu atakuheshimu. As a father, as a mother, as a brother, as a sister in your home, you are responsible, please. You are accountable to your conduct. You are accountable to your character. Hasa ni wewe mwenyewe kama mama, kama baba, kama watoto, ni jamii gani mungependa kuwa nayo kweli kabisa? Nani angependa kuingia ndani ya nyumba? Watu tu macho wakikuangalia wanasema hapa siwezi kukaa. Macho tu inakudi inakwambia geuka rudi. Tena ni bwana yako tena ni mke wako watoto ndio hao hawakai kwa nyumba hawapigi kelele mzuri unajua kupiga kelele nyingine mzuri wanaanza kupiga kelele hata unasikia hapa nyumba imekalika maana watoto wanaongea watoto wanacheka pamoja mama anakuja na kaa hapo mnaongea vizuri mzaa amekaa hapo na uji yake anateremusha <laughs> anasema eh leo siku imekuwa kazi anatoa miwani hivi anapanguza kidogo anasema he mambo yako hivyo anyway Mungu yuko ametusaidia Tuendelee kushukuru Mungu ametusaidia mpaka umbali huu na Mungu atazidi kutusaidia. Hivyo ndivyo nyumba inakalika. Chakula ikija mnaishambulia pamoja. <laughs> yaani chakula ikija kwa meza, mikono inaambiwa nawa, mnaambiwa the food is ready. <laughs> Sio mwingine alianza zamani akamaliza, ndio mnaambiwa chakula ilikuja samani hapa. Hata unaambiwa ni kipofu uko na chakula imekuja. Hiyo ni nyumba gani? Unaitwa kipofu tena. Na nyumba ni yako na unaambiwa uone chakula lazima uitwe lazima niitwe nasema kwa nyumba yangu mimi sio kuna mwili yule anahusika na mimi ya jikoni my friend 
sijui cha cha kule liba saa ngapi lazima niitwe hata naitwa babu kuja kula dadi kuja kula mama ananiambia mzee hata kinita mzee ni mzee mzee chakula iko hapo simwambie mzee wa wapi hapana nyumba ni mawasiliano nyumba ni kuwa na ile tunasema sense of humor eh, unaongea kitu watu wanacheka basi chakula inakulika waje ni waje hapo nisiendelee sana kwa sababu tumaini la jamii natakana kuendelea na kuna tumaini katika Kristo naamini kwamba Mungu akipenda tutaenda phase 2 Jumamosi ijayo tunazungumza juu ya muujiza nyumbani baraka nyumbani ushindi nyumbani umoja nyumbani mambo mazuri kutoka juu katika boma yako baba katika jina la Yesu nasema ni asante kwa nafasi umenipa kuzungumzia ile jamii ile jamii kadiri ya moyo wako umetuambia tuache wasiwasi umetuambia tuache mangaiko umetuambia tukuamini baba wa mbinguni unajua kulisha ndege wangani unajua kurembesha maua ya kondeni sisi ni zaidi ya ndege wangani na maua ya kondeni baba utulishe na utuvishe utupatie haja za mioyo yetu naombea zile boma zote zimenisikiliza kwa umakini wale wamechukua ya maneno kwa umakini naomba uwasaidie kabisa watende mambo mazuri tena mambo magumu waonyeshe kwamba unahusika na unajali mahali pale wamepungukiwa Mungu uwajaze wajaze na furaha wajaze na amani wajaze na upendo wajaze na vitu wajaze na amani wajaze na mali baba ninasema ni asanti kwa sababu Kristo alikufa kwa zile jamii baba ninaomba umoja uwe katikati yao wakiomba jambo lolote katika jina la Yesu uwatende natangaza baraka kwa hiyo boma natangaza mambo mazuri ya wajie uangazie kutoka hapa kwenda mbele baba roho ya wasiwasi siwe sehemu yao na hofu roho ya imani ifanye kazi kwa kila jambo wa kuombe na kushukuru na wafanya mahitaji yao kujulikana kwako sio kwa watu baba ninakushukuru maana umenisikia na pamoja tunaendelea boma zetu zinahitaji miujiza boma zetu zinahitaji kubarikiwa boma zetu zinahitaji kuangaziwa tunawaangazia kutoka hapa tumaini television the program a miracle in the home or at home let it happen for your own glory in jesus name amen ningependa kusema mungu abariki sana ningependa kusikia kile mungu anafanya unajua ni vizuri tujue tunapanda kwa mchanga mzuri ama namna gani wewe kuwa muaminivu na kuwa mungwana useme tu bishop anatusaidia na uendelee na pia tu support kama tumaini tv wakati wote ukiona pay bill hapo ni kwa ajili tunahitaji msaada wako gharama iko tuna gharama ya kufanya vipindi kuja huko nje unaona niko katika mwangaza mkuu hii ni stima inalipwa wafanya kazi wako lakini nakuambia hivyo pato kujua si tumepatiwa bure na tunapatia na bure naona Mwenyezi Mungu aliuzu lakini wakati wa kufika kutoa sadaka na kubari kazi ya Mungu tumeruhusiwa kukuambia hatukuambii utoe ubarikiwe tunakuambia toa kwa sababu umebarikiwa sisi ndio tumekubariki na hili neno mimi ndio nimekupandia mbegu sasa we mwenyewe ona vile utabariki station ili Mungu azidi kubariki boma yako na kuzidi kubariki majirani mpaka Jumamosi ijayo the miracle in the home please watch the second episode we love you and we always pray for you be blessed in jesus name amen